the Buhari effect, Nigeria's must understand is education. Fashola, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Minister of Works and Housing Babatunde Fashola has said that Nigerians must know the education and training of the President, Major General Buhari, retire to understand his effect on governance. The minister stated this in a documentary titled The Buhari Effect, Undeniable Achievements, which was aired on Channel Television on Saturday evening. The one-hour documentary chronicled some of the achievements of the Buhari regime across sectors of governance, including infrastructure development, housing, agriculture, transportation, health, amongst others. Speaking during the documentary, Fashola, a former two-term Lagos governor, said the best way to understand the Buhari effect is to understand the man himself and appreciate his connection in a simple way to the most vulnerable members of our society. It is also to understand his background, his education and his training. When you go back to his previous enterprise and government, whether as a much young officer, as GOC general officer commanding, or as military governor, or as Ministry for Petroleum, or as Chairman of the Petroleum Trust Fund, you will understand what the man is all about, he said. Controversies had surrounded Buhari's academic credentials as opposition People's Democratic Party had in October 2018 challenged Buhari to show proof of his integrity by presenting his academic credentials, if he has any, to the Independent National Electoral Commission. The president was reported to have informed INEC that his credentials were in the possession of the military board. Buhari's position had, however, continued to trigger some comments from political observers. To salvage the situation, the West Examination Council, WAYEC, in November 2018, has presented an attest attestation certificate and confirmation of school certificate results to Buhari in a much published photo session. Buhari 78, a former military head of state between 1983 and 1985, had been, pre had been Nigerians democratically elected president since May 2015, but many Nigerians continued to lament the worsening security situation, inflation reduced the economy, high food prices, and soaring unemployment rates during his government. Speaking further during the documentary, Fashola delved into the various road projects undertaken by the Buhari regime in the last six years, many of which were funded by local and external loans. The senior advoc advocate of Nigeria boasted that travelers no longer have a hectic time on the Lagos Ibado Expressway because of the Buhari effect. If you look at the Lagos Ibado Expressway, people used to sleep on that road. People used to sleep on the Bini or Shagamo Road. All that are now in the all that are now in the past, except when you have your non-compliant behavior, he said. Adding that their Papa Operation Key Road, as well as a number of road projects across the country, would not have been embarked upon but for the Buhari effect. However, contrary to the minister's claim, considerable portions of the Lagos Ibadu Expressway remains travelers' nightmare. Kidnappers and hoodlums have been reported to take advantage of the lapidated portions of the road to attack road travelers in recent times. The well-edited documentary was a compendium of sorts of the records of the Buhari effect. After Fashola, it was the turn of the Minister of State for Health, Oluruni Mamora, who majored on the Buhari effect in the management of the COVID-19 pandemic since the index case of a lethal virus was recorded in the first quarter of 2020. Mamora claimed that the Buhari government did something that some advanced country did not do and that was responsible for the effect management of the infection rates in the country. The health minister, however, failed to mention the Buhari effect on the management of health workers as a perpetual industrial action by the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors, the Nigerian Medical Association, the Joint Health Sector Unions, and the Assembly of the Healthcare Professional Associations, ground, ground, Medical services at successfully towers in the country. The Punch findings show that the satisfied doctors and protection lecturers have spent more than 552 days strike under Buhari in the Laxis years. That is about two whooping years. As a result of the Buhari effect, the Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris Ngige, is known for being in marathon, closed the session with the striking doctors who protest lack of modern equipment, failure of government to pay the salaries, amongst others. 
Igigi has always has also, I beg your pardon, been seen having a tough time with members of the academic staff union of the of universities as they demand certain entitlements from the government. In 2020, due to the Buhari effects, Asu embarked on a nine month long strike, the longest in the history of the association and the country. While the industrial actions were in full force, members of the elite class, including Buhari, frequented the United Kingdom for medical attention. The president's children, as well as those of other top ranking officials, also graduate from one class territory institution abroad. While ordinary Nigerian students grapple with incessant strike, which elongates their stay on campuses all over the country. After Mamora, the managing director, Nigeria Railway Corporation, Fidet Okiria, also spoke about the Buhari effect and railway transformation in the country. The Minister of Transportation wrote to me, Amechi, in an interview in June 2021, has said the Buhari government borrowed $2 billion Chinese loan for the construction of Kaduna to Abuja and Lagos Ibadan Railways, amongst others. The debt profile of the Buhari regime, which has risen to 20.8 trillion naira, has been a source of concern to many Nigerians. The documentary of the Buhari effect also featured the Director General, Bud the Director General Budget Office of the Federation, Ben Akabuizi, Chairman National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Buba Mawa, and the Director General National Lottery Regulatory Commission, Larry Bajabiamula. Overall, the documentary fairly tried to capture the Buhari effect. It, however, failed to chronicle, chronicle the Buhari effect on Nigeria concerning the education sector, unstable commerce, and poor manufacturing sectors. The compendium was also mute on insecurity, youth employment, fallen Naira, as well as information, communication technology, amongst many other critical but wobbling sectors in Nigeria. I did not know that Mr. Fashola has changed from what he used to be. This shows that sooner than later, he will overtake Lai Mohammed, the greatest teacher of lies and propaganda. With what you have said, you will be the person that will replace a sickly presidential candidate. It is finally and permanently settled. No education is therefore responsible for the unpresented all-round failure from him and his government. Lies and propaganda can travel far, but any time the truth arises, it overtakes lies and propaganda. Nigeria is the only country in the world where a president that possessed, that possessed to whom it may concern as academic qualification is leading and a professor is a vice. Nigeria is a country where all abnormalities seem normal. Nigeria is a country where impossibilities are possible. Nigeria is a country where a man that was once regarded as a man of integrity promised to fight corruption but ends up budgeting 12.5 billion naira for presidential fleet in a year. Nigeria is a country where once you become a politician, the only thing on your mind is how to lose funds. Nigeria is a country where politicians will see white and say it is black. Nigeria is a country where politicians enjoy seeing the masses suffering. Nigeria is a country where nothing is a surprise. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen till I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.